Hi Capricorn, my name is Ingrid and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. This is your December 2023 reading. I'm just uh, shuffling the tarot cards to get your energy and see how what your spirits and guides would like you to know today. And I wanted you to know, Capricorn, that I care so much about you and I'm sending you so much love as we come to the end of this year. And I want our spirits and guides to create this sacred space, this temenos, this sanctuary for us to receive this message from the tarot. This is you, Capricorn, where you're coming to the completion of a long battle, of lots of work, of a heavy burden. You fought, you see the bandages. You've had to stand your ground and fight so hard for things. But what this shows me is your determination. This is you, Capricorn. You're so steadfast. You keep going. You're such a hard worker. You're so intelligent and keep that energy going. And this is saying that you've had to stand your ground and it's been hard, but that's you. You have that ability. <clears throat> that's a positive thing. And look at all the wands that you, all that creative energy that you've put forth this year. So it's saying in December 2023, perhaps it's time to just acknowledge how hard you've worked, what you stood for, and then realize it doesn't just end. You still have to keep working and standing your ground, but this is a time to acknowledge how hard you have worked. And nines are saying that this is coming to completion. So perhaps this is something that is coming to an end, this level of having to struggle and stand your ground and persevere and work for everything and being kind of defensive. And Capricorn, you're looking at through these three cups, but there's a new offering. Perhaps something is coming into your life, but you're kind of bored with what you have. You're kind of looking over the three cups. Perhaps these are three important things in your life, emotional things or things that have to do with um, relationships. And you're being offered a new possibility, but you're kind of closed off, you see. He's not really looking at the cup, even though it's right at his eye level. So that's saying, Capricorn, maybe that as this month comes on, you'll have to look at kind of where you have worked hard and stood your ground and been steadfast. But, you know, that's kind of a, a heavy, exhausting, defensive energy. And this is often a kind of closed off energy of not being willing to receive something new in the realm of your feelings. So think about that Capricorn where you could be resisting a cup of love, a cup of nourishment, something to quench you. Spirits, what does Capricorn need to know? That's at the root of this year, perhaps, and this month. The world. Wow, Capricorn, something is coming to a con co closure, a completion. To celebrate that dimension. You see the dancer, she's in that circle, the Ouroboros, that sense of containment within our own wholeness. And if this is at the root, is showing me that the world, you have the world. It's, you've 
at that's at the root. But it seems like you've had to fight and or are somewhat fighting and struggling and a little dissatisfied. But this is a closure. At the root, something's coming to an end. A completion, let's say. Full circle. And Capricorn, in December, what is an image, a feeling, a thought, or perhaps something that you need to release? The Queen of Cups. Well, maybe you're you have been in the Queen of Cups in your emotions and kind of closed off with the emotions, having these deep feelings, deep reveries, but keeping them to yourself. And you see this cup? Maybe the Queen is offering you this cup of emotion to look into. But that's saying that... Um, what you've been going through, what's been in your past environment has been a lot of deep emotions. Processing those, receiving those, maybe a lot of work on your dreams or on things in depth psychology and your own personal development. And at the crown is the six of swords, a completion too, a coming out of some distressing or painful time of troubled waters. You see the queen also had, is on turbulent waters, but the six of swords is saying that your higher self, your higher wisdom is saying it's time to move on to calmer waters, to be less defensive. And you see that the woman and child have nothing but what they have on their back. So it's saying that here you can't rely on um, the physical world of money and all of that. It's just saying that here you have to make good decisions and trust in this ferry boat um, man who is taking you somewhere to the unknown but it's to calmer waters. And your crown is wanting you to know that and is saying that you can understand that now and take a sigh of relief that you have got out of some troubling, tangled up mental anguish or a situation you felt like you could never get out of. And now you are going to calmer waters, Capricorn. And what is coming on the horizon or what is coming into focus for you? The five of wands. Well, here you see the energy of jockeying and fighting and arguments and Perhaps that's coming into the, um, this is what's coming now or what's going to be more on the horizon or in the near future. Maybe as you're exploring these deeper emotions and you're feeling like I've got to kind of move on from this negative situation to calmer waters, that there's still a residue of some conflict, uh, competition, um, uh, that kind of thing. So to be aware that that might be coming up for you at the, in the month of December, some clashes of energies. And dear Capricorn, what is that you need to know about you and the situation you're in. You. 
the Ace of Cups. This is showing a time of the raw energy of love coming to you. This overflowing energy from the divine coming down and see, now you're ready to receive this cup. You weren't before. That was the challenge. But in your environment, you see Capricorn, you do have all that love. You just have to allow yourself to see it and receive it. And this is divine love, the rawness of love, love itself, the opening of the heart and going into those deep emotions and knowing that that's in your environment and that's good. That's you're feeling those living waters, that self-replenishing cup of love. This shows me a coming of a new way of loving, of loving yourself and loving the world around you. And maybe that's what's coming as that completion, is that you're allowing yourself to feel that wholeness in you. And how do you see Capricorn, those in your environment in December? Well, perhaps you see others as having a poverty consciousness or that you're seeing that those around you don't have a lot of love or are not allowing themselves to see the light of the abundance they do have. And this is a card of feeling like, you know, you're out in the cold, that everybody has all that the beauty of the light of the church, of warmth, of community, of even that spiritual love. But you see people in your environment, perhaps, or you see the world around you as lacking. Or maybe you feel like out of this love you're having and that you're wanting to help those in need or help those um, teach others that that's not necessarily the way. Show them how to come to that inner abundance. And your hope and fear, Capricorn, for the month of December 2023. The Three of Cups. Well, that is a sense of you both hope and fear to have guest celebration, um, a sense of enjoyment, of festivities. But that's saying to allow that, to move out of this kind of impoverished lack, lacking, a feeling of lack, of any kind of lack, of not having enough or not having what you want or being out in the cold or handicapped and everybody else has the light. But you're celebrating, and that's your hope and fear. So you're hoping I might celebrate, but you're fearful you might. So look at that. What are in your cups, Capricorn? Look at the bounty and harvest you have. Allow yourself to move away from those troubling waters. And often the swords are these mental constructs that we've tangled ourselves up in and felt like we can't ever get away from. And know that you're not caught up and you have everything you need. You just have to change the attitude and celebrate what you have right now. And the goal for you, Capricorn, is Page of Cups. That's to say that out of this opening in the heart, you have all the love you need, all the um, flowing fulfillment and fulfillment. And that allow yourself to be playful, allow yourself to have a little innocent fun in the realm of, of the imagination a little bit, to um, be a little bit more playful, creative. I see that coming to you as the outcome. 
of this beautiful reading for you, Capricorn. So let's get a few angel cards to clarify this reading. If there's something that Capricorn needs to know from the angel guides. Let's see what is it that is coming into our Capricorn's world. Intuition and downloads. Wow. Well, that's saying that as you allow these um, imagination, imaginings to come up, these fantasies, you can receive these amazing downloads and intuitions about your life. And that is something that will bring you a new sense of creativity and love of yourself and love of life. And that beginning in the realm of, you know, the creative aspect of life. And that's what you're having to celebrate. Transformation. Well, once you have these intuitions and downloads, that's going to be transforming you, Capricorn, at the end of this year into the ability to have signs and reminders. Look at the butterflies and the birds and the feather and the rainbows and the stars and the moon. So as you allow these downloads and then have the signs and reminders around you, you will experience a deep transformation, Capricorn. And the things that you had been um, wanting to get away from or feeling you're moving now into calmer waters where you can perhaps receive these downloads, pay more attention to the signs and synchronicities around you and to allow this transformation into that beautiful light and that openness and freedom for you, dear Capricorn. Well, Capricorn, if you like the way I read, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up and go to ingridsinsights.com for a personal reading. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day and see you soon. Bye-bye, Capricorn. And know that these messages are with you now, and so it is.